Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for joining in. We're going to be playing through the Resident Evil 4 Remake Chainsaw demo. This is going to be the commentary video, so we're going to be kind of covering the highlights of the demo and kind of discussing it. Let's let the cutscene play. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. So, pretty cool there. We got to see a little bit more background than we did in the original Resident Evil 4. Uh, we got to see Krauser. You know, Leon training with Krauser. We got to see kind of the president. Uh, we saw Ada, Kendo... You know, we had some flashbacks, so a little extra background. Now, I just got to start off by saying the graphics in this game are beautiful. Really, really good. Uh, Leon's character model looks exceptional and they did a really good job just crafting this environment Another thing that I noticed in this game is the run speed is like pretty fast and at first it caught me off guard i was like wow you run really fast in this game but um it makes sense also notable right here is the fact that you can crouch in this game which is pretty cool adds a sneaking stealth element so this house right here looks like kind of the first house in the original Resident Evil 4. Anyone home? Here we have some classic Resident Evil examining of items. And in the top right, we can see confirmation of files being collected in the game. Notable right there is when I went through that door, I didn't press the button prompt. So as Leon approaches a door, I'm not sure if it's if you've already gone through it or not, but if it's not a locked door, you can kind of push through the door. So that's also very notable. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Busco a un policía. Vino aquí.
This is not good. So that little cutscene right there kind of mimics uh, the OG Resident Evil 4. Kind of your first encounter with a villager. Man, that stinks. So we got a key off the ground, presumably for a door nearby. If you look in the bottom right, you can see the handgun and the ammo that's in it. And you can also see the knife. The knife notably has a bar under it, which we will get to soon. much more horror themed so far than the original uh the original was pretty scary i guess i played it when i was fairly young but this game has a much more horror vibe to it what was that And there's our first combat in the game that uh, that first villager took seven bullets i missed one so we have two left in the magazine if you notice that villager was a little bit different a little bit different than what we've seen from the original There's our first green herb in the game. here what's your sit rep the president's daughter baby eagle it's likely she's in this village our intel was correct then well done need a location on a nearby lake she may have been taken there copy that i'll see what i can find hurry up something's happened to the people here my escorts are <laughs> gotta go talk later <laughs> Myself out. <laughs> so I love this little cutscene. Kind of a little cut back to the original Resident Evil 4. We also got our first look at Hunnigan. And uh, the presumed contact that they're going to have throughout the game, like the original. So yeah, here you can really see how, how fast the run speed seems in this game.
once again another call back to the original resident evil 4 killing the birds gets you random items and there's our first typewriter which of course we can't use because it's a demo and there we picked up gunpowder so in resident evil 4 remake you can craft items and ammo and of course combine herbs and things like that so that was very cool for me i did not know that that was going to be in this game We kind of have a call back to the original uh there's a dog you can save and this one is already dead although it looks kind of like a wolf compared to a dog but pretty cool little call back there We can see there that Ganado was like about to charge with their weapon, which is pretty cool. And there's our first look at melee prompts in the game. So the enemies react very intuitively to where you shoot them on their body, whether it's the legs or the arms or the head yeah it's very intuitive damn it and um if you didn't see when i used the knife to attack that villager on the ground my knife the bar that's under it went down a little bit very subtly but that confirmed for me that that's a durability bar on the knife so it seems you're going to be able to pick up other knives or craft them throughout the game. And there's our first flash grenade. Very useful in the original. Also, it seems like there's no more going into the menu and having to switch weapons. You're able to hold eight things at the same time. So on the directional pad, you can hold two in each direction, which is awesome. And here we have a first look at the village section of the game. Very notable in the original, including this little scene right here. Shit. They're really kind of hammering home the, uh, almost like religious zealot thing here pretty cool i don't remember it being so prominent in the original especially not this early on in the game so here we're taking use of the crouch mechanic it's much quieter and adds a stealth element to the game that definitely was not in the original So we've got locked chests around so definitely backtracking is going to be a thing finding items and returning to spaces you previously were Now this was a huge moment here when I first did this. I was like, wow, we have genuine like stealth gameplay, which is very cool. It's very unique. It's something that Resident Evil doesn't really have a lot of, if at all. So very cool to see that added in this game.
almost got caught there and there we go the section begins Chainsaw Man. So this is very nearly shot for shot, like the original game. Especially the design of this house that we're in. So we want to immediately stock up on items and get ready for a fight. And there's the good old shotgun. Can't go wrong there. And a hand grenade. Very useful. So just like the original, you can knock down ladders, uh, break windows, basically anything you could do to make it more difficult for the enemies to get to you or converge on you. Knock down another ladder here. Just trying to funnel the enemies, you know, in one direction. village is very spot on like it was in the original there we go we we've confirmed that the chainsaw man can kill the other villagers accidentally or maybe he just doesn't care so at this section it seems like three handgun bullets is enough to kill a villager jump off the roofs pretty seamlessly in this game which is very nice the movement and the mechanics of the game are, are very very nice they feel very fluid and smooth doesn't feel cumbersome at all here we got trapped pretty hard ended up hurting ourselves pretty bad with that hand grenade So you can use the knife to get out a lot of sticky situations in this game, which makes it pretty vital. Got a grab animation that you have to mash out of. Now, I don't think it happens in this demo playthrough. Oh, here. So here we have the attache case uh, for the first time. You can move your items around like in the original. And then we have the crafting screen where you can make handgun ammo, shotgun shells, other things. Uh, for handgun ammo, you need one thing of resources and five gunpowder. Very useful. But yeah, I don't think it happens in this demo, but you can block certain attacks with the knife. And here we have some contextual shooting on the hitbox of the AI enemies. Very responsive. church bell rings and all the enemies stop so we made it through the section with plenty of ammo to spare
So I'm pretty sure that section is time based. I mean, it could be based on the number of kills, but I'm not 100% sure yet. everyone going bingo <laughs> there it is guys that line right there is one of the most endearing ones in the entire series in my opinion <laughs> but yeah guys thanks for watching i appreciate it hope you enjoyed it it's a very very good demo if you're curious definitely check it out it's on steam it's it's everywhere else and yeah, I can't wait for the game to drop. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like, share it with some other Resident Evil fans. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to see more content in the future. So thank you guys very much again, and hope you have a good day. Thanks, guys.